Meta is laying off 10,000 more employees in a series of cuts. The news comes after 13% of the company was cut in November. This will be tough, and there's no way around that. Yeah, you're trying to reinvent. Um, everybody did it, right? Mm-hmm. Google, Meta, now I see, uh, see you later, alligator. I heard there was a conspiracy when um, all the companies, all the big companies were hiring. It's because they don't want, you know, uh, other employees to work at different companies. So they just <clears throat> kept on hi- like a hiring spree just to like get everyone in. <clears throat> and then no one had anything to do. So they fired everyone. That's a conspiracy. But I don't know. No, no, I know what you're saying that it, it got really competitive at one moment, right? Yeah. yeah. It got really competitive at one moment where it was like an arms race where they were hiring so rapidly that. Uh, Maybe you're right. Maybe they were a little too aggressive on it. No, it's not. I mean, people got paid in the meantime. It's not. That's the thing. It's like it. It, it sounds horrendous, right? Laying off, getting fired, this and that. But at, at companies of this scale, it's kind of more a reflection on the management in in many cases than it even might be on the employee themselves. I guarantee you, out of those ten thousand employees, somebody was doing something decent. Mm-hmm. Somebody maybe they found it was too small of a percentage but it's when you see it all lumped together it does a weird thing psychologically but how could you have you also have to remember in the case of meta facebook zuckerberg they really pivoted they're a whole different thing now Mm -hmm. and if you're a whole different thing and maybe your ad sales has changed and maybe you have more of an emphasis on vr now and uh, the situation with Apple and ad tracking and privacy and just a lot has changed in a short period of time. And you sit there and go, well, well we got to do something different. And we're going to start by, I guess, kind of, wow, the stock seems to like it. Yeah, anytime that there's a firing, the stock usually jumps. Because all of a sudden the expenditure goes down. Yeah. The bottom just, line gets up. Everything gets tighter in the company. Bottom line gets better. Yeah. All of a sudden, all those outputs, you start focusing on the inputs, uh-huh. sales. It also see it also sends a message to those that remain. Hey, if you all of a sudden all your pals are gone, you're like, I still want to work here. All your pals are gone. Yeah, you better do something. Then. The company's headcount headcount ballooned during the pandemic from forty eight thousand on March thirty first, twenty twenty, to eighty seven thousand before layoffs started in November. Yeah, I remember they were like, see if we can find another useful thing to do in here. But that's always or a bad else. that's always a bad yeah. place to be once you're at a, at a big company. At a small company, I think you can do that it, it, because it's intimate enough and it's like pretty obvious what things need to be done. At a big company, yikes. Mm-hmm. You're stepping on toes, you have you might have internal beef going on. Mm-hmm. I don't want you on my team. Go see if that guy's got anything for I don't know. I just assume. I don't work in these environments, but I assume that's the type of thing that goes on. Mm-hmm. Those big uh, corporate markets.